Hello beautiful Capricorns and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophet test, you guys. So welcome, welcome. You guys have already seen the title of this video, so you know why you're here. Um, I don't know the incoming energies yet um, or what the cards are going to say, but I can tell you the energies that I'm feeling around your guys' collective. Um, I feel, Cappies, that... <clears throat> For one, I feel that you guys this past year or even maybe prior, you guys have been really struggling with your power, standing in your power, controlling your power, taking back your power. Um, and you guys have had major, collectively, everyone has really had um, a lot of solar plexus activations, but I feel that you guys specifically have. So at this time, you guys are taking control of your lives really standing in your power. You're looking forward with clear vision as to what you want, where you want to go, who you want, things of that nature, right? Um, so let's, let's see what the cards say for you guys, Capricorn. Um, and I do feel, I do feel, um, you being connected to someone like, yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. I said, I feel you being connected to someone and that flipped over right when I said it. And this is Cupid's arrow. And it's aiming right at the new moon, a new beginning, something that you're very passionate about, something that excites you, something that activates your root chakra, your sacral chakra. Um, it's a connection that makes you feel powerful or that made you feel powerful. Because this other one facing me right here is you're very close to achieving your goal. So again, with work, finances, um, investments, you guys have been closing out cycles. You guys are very close to closing out major cycles here. So maybe you're ending it with someone. Maybe you've ended um, a connection, a long-term connection in marriage. I don't know. You guys all know your story. Everyone's story is a little different. 222 two, two on the timestamp right when I looked divine number it's a number of unions too divine unions so maybe you're walking away from something here for a new beginning in love because bottom of the deck maybe you're walking away because you know nothing's going to come out of the situation that you're in or that you that you were in okay so but you're very close to achieving your goals here So again, you're closing out cycles, taking back control, and you're accomplishing big things here, Capricorn. All right, cool. Um, and keep in mind that these energies are right now, that you could already be in these energies. These are incoming energies, like, but this is like current energy, but this is like all the energies gearing up to the new year. This is beautiful. Love is in the air. A new cycle in love. You've been shot by Cupid's arrow. Who is this person, Capricorn? Oh, step out of your comfort zone, your north node. Okay, so this is about your true north, your destiny. This is this arrow. This is alignment. You've aligned with your destiny here, or you are aligning with your destiny, right? So there's this new cycle in love that is causing you to step out of your comfort zone. It's something different. It's nothing like you've ever felt or experienced. And it's definitely a part of your, your destiny. All right, one more. You are good enough and then have faith in your dreams. Okay, this is about wish fulfillments and dreams coming true. You have kept faith. You've remained a good person, an honest person. You've allowed your pains to turn into power as I was speaking about taking your power back and how you've been struggling with it in the past due to karmic situations, karmic lessons. Spirit wants you to know at this time that you are good enough. You are good enough to manifest anything you wish into your reality. You are good enough. It's like someone, it's like, Cappy, like no one really tells you like, I'm proud of you. No one really tells you, like, you're doing an amazing job. No one really gives you those kinds of 
validating compliments. And it's something that is important to you, to everyone, to every human being. We don't need to, we, we shouldn't seek validation in that way, right? Ever. But it feels so super nice to be told those things. So spirit is coming through and I am coming through as a reader and as your soul tribe. And we're saying you are good enough. We are proud of you. You are doing an amazing job. You have been crushing these karmic lessons with such grace. You've been aligning learning to love yourself again. And, and, and these are your rewards here. Okay. You've had faith in your dreams. Okay. And spirit wants you also to know that you and your loved ones are safe. You guys are heavily protected. Okay. At this time, you and your family members, your children, you guys have had some new beginnings here as well, right? Maybe in regards to the home life, maybe you recently moved, maybe you're moving, maybe you're buying a new house or selling a property. I don't know. Because the crab is, for me, an association of home. Because the crab lives in its shell. And this is new beginnings. So, Spirit wants you to know that you guys are safe. They're protecting you. And then there's that new romantic cycle in Libra. Could be dealing with the Libra, but there's new romantic cycle beginning. Libra, Sagittarius. All right. So, let's get some tarot. Let's get some tarot for Cappy incoming these are all of your beautiful manifestations about to hit this is also passionate communication between you and someone else this person that um you've been struck by cupid's bow this person that you're gonna have a new cycle in love with feels like this is someone cappy that you can see yourself marrying spending your life with, settling down with, with this, it's new beginnings in home. Like you can see yourself having a home with this person. Yep. You find this person very nurturing, very loving, very open and kind, not manipulative, not narcissistic, no ego. This person is also very intuitive. Okay. Queen of Cups. This is a queen's energy. It's someone who knows who they are. And then there's your match. King of Pentacles. This is your energy, Capricorn. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. And this right here, man or woman, it doesn't matter. It's the energy and the emotions of it. There you are. Finally feeling like you are getting your life back. Finally feeling like you're sitting on your throne again. Finally feeling like you're the king of your castle. And you have this offer here, this pentacle that you want to give to this queen of cups. See, knight of cups. This is that loving message. Could be distance between you guys, long distance. See, he's traveling across rivers and mountains to come. Okay, so could be long distance between you guys, but this is communication. This is an offer. For Capricorn, please clarify the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles at this time for Capricorn. This just flew out. The star card, Aquarius energy. This is a wish fulfillment. I said that with your have faith in your dreams. I said it's like, it's a wish fulfillment. It's dreams coming true for you, Capricorn. The stars are aligning. It's because you've aligned with your destiny. This is something that you've been wishing for. Someone you've been wishing for, hoping for. Someone you've been manifesting. All right. The Wheel of Fortune just flipped over all sideways. It like really wanted me to stop and see it. The Wheel of Destiny. This is destiny. <laughs> it's divine timing too. It's time. 
it's time for, for, for union here. The stars have aligned. This is the clock of the tarot. So the wheel of destiny is turning in your favor at this time, Capricorn. Someone's taking a leap of faith here with the fool. They're a fool in love. I'm a fool, fool, fool for you. <laughs> it's Alan Jackson. There's a song. Uh, he's like, Any or anything you want, and I'll get it. He does like anything for her. And he's just like, I'm a fool, fool, fool for you. That's this. And like everyone's like your, like your friends and like people around you are like, oh my gosh, I've never seen you like this over someone, Capricorn. And you're like, yeah, I know. Crazy, right? I don't even care. I'm happy. It's a very carefree attitude. Okay. All right. So let's get some, uh, let's do some romance angels. For Capricorn, please. For Capricorn. For the collective of Capricorn, please. Tell us about this new romantic cycle. This destined union of kings and queens. This is um, definitely like a past life soulmate or a twin flame connection. I'm just receiving these messages for you guys. Um, and you guys will, you guys will know, you'll know. For Capricorn, please. For Capricorn. Thank you. Thank you. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You're going to be spending a lot of alone time with this person. You want to just spend all of your time with this person. Completely alone. Just falling in love, getting to know each other. And notice that they're in, um, she's in a wedding dress and he's in a, in a suit. Remember I was saying, you, you can see yourself having a home life with this person, marrying this person, having a family with this person. That's part of the things that are gonna be expressed here, Capricorn. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. The wheel is turning. You're taking this leap of faith. <clears throat> it's all in for what you love. Yeah. Trusting. Situation is calling for you to have faith. See how this little Cupid is holding the arrow? Cupid's arrow. Look at that. Everything I say is always for a reason. All right, let's get one more, please, for Capricorn. Tell me about this connection, please, for Capricorn. This, oh, thank you. <laughs> Finances and career, ooh. This is possibly someone that you're gonna manifest a lot of money with when you guys come into union. This is someone who you can trust. This is loyalty. This is the most love you can possibly have for another human being. And it's love that's given. It's openness. It's expressed. It's destiny. Destiny. All right, let's get some into it, Oracle. For Capricorn, please. For the collective of Capricorn. What messages, please, do you have for Capricorn at this time? And in regards to this connection, please. The train tracks. You have three, three here. This is about coming into union, divine masculine, divine feminine, and spirit. Empress, this is this is the divine feminine, the one that the masculine comes into union with. This is the new abundant beginning, the new cycle. This is the one that you see as the perfect partner. Someone you can have a home with, a family life with, because they're compassionate, caring, nurturing, beautiful, magnetic, sexy, confident, magical. And the train tracks here is forward movement. It's knowing what you want and going the distance. It's knowing who you want and going the distance. The 
eagle. This is masculine energy. It's new hope. Having a clear vision. Rising above everything. and Going after what you want. And the grasshopper. It's very much like the fool. It's taking a leap of faith. Not caring about anything. The challenges, the obstacles, it doesn't matter. It says a leap of faith, moving on, prosperity, a change in direction, birth of a son, and luck. So you might be having um, a son with this person. Okay. Maybe you guys, you guys come into union, get married, and have a little boy. Um, or maybe you find out you're having a boy, you get pregnant. I don't know. Um, this is a very lucky. It's a it's a lucky shift in direction. And then you have the loons. The wealthy divine masculine here. Showing up with the loons. This is a deeply committed person. This is going to be a deeply committed connection. It's an uncommon bond. Family. Manifest your deepest desires. Didn't I just say that this is someone you're going to manifest a lot of things with? Abundance. Love. Finances. I mean, you guys are going to be wealthy. Like, it's it's prosperity in all these areas. Ener kind of energy. And didn't I literally say all in for what you love? It literally says all in for what you love. Reawaken lost hopes. So for a lot of you guys, this is someone from the past coming back. Unexpected rendezvous. The clover. And again, more luck. The meeting of your of you guys was very unexpected. And then you have the wheel of destiny again. Turning in your favor. Fate. So, Cappy, this is what I have for you guys. Current energy. So, if this resonated with you. Oh, look, I bent my card all up. Oh, no. If this resonated with you, if this is your reading, go ahead and claim it by liking and subscribing to the channel, you guys. Um, thank you for all of your likes, your comments, and, subscribe, and all of your subscriptions. If you want to hone in on your own personal situationship, twin flame journey, um, whatever it is at this time, I'm still doing personals. You can find the info below in the description box. I can do a live video reading with you or I can send you a recorded reading. Um, if you're interested in learning the tarot and tapping into your intuition and your psychic abilities um, with me, I'm holding tarot classes for the next few weeks on Sundays. It's uh, at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, tickets are $55 and it's super interactive and I'm keeping the classes pretty small. Um, and you can pop in at any time. So it doesn't matter if you haven't been taking the classes. Um, and what else? What else? And donations. Thank you guys for your donations on the channel. It means the world to me. You can now follow me on TikTok at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot and on Instagram at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. So I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, Cappies.